for the casual Rockies fan, the one that'll show up at Coors Field two or three times a year or will watch a game at a bar when they're with that one annoying friend that won't stop talking about that one annoying thing. Let's face it, the Rockies are likely not going to the World Series this year, but that doesn't mean that baseball isn't interesting. The MLB added a ton of new rule changes this year, and we decided to break down three of them that are making the biggest impact thus far. And what better way to explain it to a casual fan than with no baseball? Let's start with the shift. A lot of teams started collecting data over the years to try and figure out where a batter was going to hit the ball. Then they'd send their players over to that area to try and get them out. Well, it worked out so well, MLB had to ban it. Last year, whenever Mr. Triceratops came up to bat, all the dogs knew where he was going to hit. It was over in this direction. So they would all go over here and try and get him out. But now the dogs are not allowed to hang out in this area until the ball is hit. They have to hang out in this area before that or else. The goal of the shift ban is to bring more action to the game, get more hits and up those batting averages, really keep the game moving. Another way they're doing that is with the pitch clock. <laughs> Pitchers have 15 seconds to throw a pitch and 20 seconds if there's a runner on base and the batters need to be in the batter's box with at least eight seconds left on the pitch clock. If the pitcher doesn't throw in time, they get penalized with the ball. Four of those and the runner gets a free base. The batter isn't in the box in time, they get penalized with a strike. Three of those and you're out. Can I have you guys do something for me for, in, for 15 seconds? And I'm gonna have you try to finish this maze in 15 seconds. Do you think that's feasible, Chuck? Some argue 15 seconds is too fast for a pitcher to strategize with a catcher what they should throw. Time's up. No way. <laughs> Time's up. Sucks to be me. <laughs> yeah, 15 <laughs> seconds, not, not enough, not enough. <laughs> not easy, but effective. And it's working. Spring training games are cut down by 25 minutes this year. So while the games are shorter, a few things are longer, like the bases. The size of the bases has increased from 15 inches to 18 inches. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but hi. You guys don't happen to have a 15 inch sub, do you? Thank you guys, appreciate you. This is a 15 inch sandwich. That's the size of an old base. Now compare this 15 inch sandwich to this 18 inch mini bat or a rolling pin or my dog. It's a subtle change with a not so subtle impact. Last week's opening day marked the most stolen bases in an opening day since 1907. That's partially due to base size and partially due to the new pickoff rule, but that's another rule for another day. <laughs> 